Have you ever had a project that you've taken on that at the time seemed great and that there would be pretty much, you know, attainable goals, not an issue on getting the thing done. And then one thing leads after another. Life starts happening. Things start piling up and you realize that you're in over your head. But then you're given an out. Well, that's what's happened exactly for us with this Ford Escape. Now, I've been open and honest with you guys and saying I'm not a mechanic. And so mechanics, please understand, it's not that I don't have a desire to learn how to do stuff on the car. I do, I know how to do basic things, but this particular Ford Escape, the, the alternator removal is a bear. I actually took it to a, a an auto mechanic and they, they, now these are people that have the tools, the lifts and all this kind of stuff specifically for doing this. And they still said it would take them eight to nine hours to take it out. So for me, that was going to be a nightmare. Then we started with other projects and, um, working with Howard on that skid steer, believe it or not, for, for this family, for this house, for this farm is a heck of a lot more valuable than having another car or a way to push more snow around. And besides all of that, we met a family who really, really needs another vehicle. And on top of all that, we're working it out to where we're not really losing any money. Well, I mean, a little money. We're losing a little bit of money because I bought a battery. But other than that, it should be a wash. So, you know, perceived albatross turned into... A, a blessing by being an out. Sometimes you just got to take it. Now, what have we got going on here, Mom? It looks like you got quite the chemistry set going on my here. Witch's brew. Witch's no. brew. No, 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 no. Just teasing. Uh, this is Grace's. Um, these are her meals. So every day I... Um, Hold on one sec, not to interrupt, but they might not, not understand. Know who Grace is. Well, right. and, they, and they also don't know how she's fed. Right. Well, our daughter Grace is 16 years old, and since she was born, she's been G-tube fed. Um, so I stopped using those pre-cans because our child, she was always sick. Four to five times a year, she would be really sick with pneumonia, um, she was hospitalized many, many times. Um, so I got tired of that. So I'm sure I, Grace did too. I would imagine that she got tired of it too. So I started making her food. Uh, we are Thrive Life Consultants and they sell a freeze dried food that is perfect for her diet. Um, I blend it all in a Vitamix to where it is a powder like this. So this is not this just is, one vegetable. This is not just one vegetable. This is a mixture of 11 different things that um, benefit her throughout the day. Yes. Um, there's meats, there's beans, there's grains, there's veggies, there's fruits. All blended together to make a complete meal. Um, I also give her Moringa. This is not the brand we are using. This is the brand we use. That's just a leftover box. That's just a leftover box that <laughs> it's I convenient. fill. I like the top on it because it doesn't screw on and it but just that is makes not life the brand. Easy. This is the brand we use we like and absolutely love. So, um, so I mix it together. We with, add the moringa. We add the moringa. We use this uh, Thrive Life powder uh, mixture that I have concocted. Um, I use some homemade yogurt and our milk from our dairy. Raw our raw milk from our cow, and um, it makes a great, um, it's like a smoothie, and pretty And what is that probiotic stuff you were putting in there? This is water kefir. And that, that seems kefir. to me like I don't want to put it in my mouth. It's actually very good, and very good <laughs> for you. 
Um, it has a it's bit of a... It's not the alien brain kefir, is it? It looks like there's a big no, blob in there. No, that's kombucha. Okay, we got it wrong. We don't do kombucha, no. Okay. This has kefir grains in the bottom. Um, what and are this they? Is, it's, a, it's a probiotic bacteria. Um, so it, it... Good for the gut. Very good for the gut and very good probiotics to keep her healthy. Um, and since we started doing all of this two years, two and a half years ago, no sickness. she has not gotten sick in any way. Um, we got the flu, not this past winter, but last winter, uh, or I should say not this winter, but last winter. We got the flu. Brad was sick for a month. I was sick for, t for two weeks. Grace got a very mild like a little cough. sniffle for two days. Yeah. So, Imagine that. You are you what know, you eat. And if she had gotten the flu, she probably would have been hospitalized if we were not doing this for her. Yep. So why we're not doing this for ourselves? I, you know, <laughs> it's I don't know probably if I could, very good I don't know for if I you. Drink that, honestly. But since she, it, it gets pumped directly into her stomach, she doesn't, she doesn't have, have to taste, taste it. it. Right. She doesn't have to taste it. So. Yeah. And you got, it looks like we got quite the stack of stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, we always told you we're Thrive Life yeah. Consultants. And it's kind of just, one thing that's super nice is that this is just in the basement. And with all this talk of all this sickness flying around, the coronavirus and all that, well, and, okay. I like the fact that we can just walk down there and grab food. We have winter for seven months here. And, you know, sometimes it gets really bad where you cannot go anywhere for or just a don't couple of go. days. Or don't want to go anywhere because the temperatures are terrible. Okay, quick random thing of the moment. You see this thing back here? I know there's a lot of crafty people out in our crowd. Folks who like to do stuff for, you know, gifts and you make it and your flowers and your quilts and your this and your that and all the, the fun stuff that we do. I've never seen one of these before. The kids got this at their Awana program for memorizing scripture, but... It's like on a on a little metal thing, and I just figured I'd share it with you because it was unique, and it would be a really, really fun, super cheap gift that is really neat. comes with the scissors. You cut off what you need for your candy, and uh, there you go. Side note, back to the video. Okay, so the doctor said I'm not allowed to legally drive with the boot, but he didn't say I can't drive the tractor, so we got a little bit of work to do. <laughs> and the doctor didn't happen to mention anything about driving an ATV. Not a thing. At least, at least not that I heard. I don't know, help a little bit. Yeah. That's fine. I think. Amazing! That is amazing. This tractor is so rock and roll. Look at that. Been sitting for two weeks out in the cold. Amazing. wants to try the snow plowing job so I said careful go slow right no. get whoa 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 wait wait whoa okay be careful <laughs> you might have hit a snowbank who would have ever thought Plowing snow would be so much fun. Is it my turn again or do you get another one? I get another one. Okay, just one more. Huh. All right, I think we're ready. Hopefully this thing doesn't get stuck because I do not want to be calling the Don to bail me out of the snow again.
Okay. I'm on the ground. Hey. I fell. ATV's over there. Um, I think my boot saved the day. But I sent the kids to go get the crutches, so that is going to be the end of the video today. And uh, you guys have an amazing and blessed day. Mm -hmm.